<laughs> so, <laughs> oh boy, I have a bad call today. So with that, let's do Sticky Crowd. Hi again, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, as we promised on a crowd playlist, we are so close to this awesome crowdy sticky crowd. You see, this is awesome one. And as you remember, in Houdini 20 keynotes, we saw this awesome sticky collision. You see, with the crowd, this is so handy. And based on my research, no one talk about that. So, I thought to myself, let's do it. So yeah. Today we are going to create this awesome sticky collision using RBD Crowd Solver in Houdini 20 but a while ago I did this awesome one in constraint network approach but sticky collision it's more flexible more fluid approach. On the other hand on my Patreon we are going to see how we can stick crowd to the object not object to the crowd and uh, we're gonna see this awesome example this is basic example uh, for this demonstration and uh, after that instead of the whole body to stick to that object we're gonna select the specific part of the body of the agent you see this is a more realistic uh, way and i was wondering how i can detach the stickiness or unstick uh, the agent after a while so i did that on my patreon this is an awesome one with this dragon and by the way the project file is available on my patreon so big shout out for these awesome people. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Okay, let me show you my scene here. This is a simple mocap bipad uh, in Houdini. This is an awesome uh, object and we, we have uh, a several animation, in a place animation, you see, I did that. So I, I wanna look for motion to this. And uh, let me show you the crowd setup. I create uh, one agent with this run clip, as you can see, and I uh, apply a local motion. I set up agent collision layer, blah, blah, blah. I talk about that in crowd playlist. And we have this crowd, you see? And now I wanna select that and I wanna simulate that. So let's select our crowd. We're gonna include ragdoll and run clip. And we have our dock network. So we have this network. So this is in a place animation. We're gonna convert that to the locomotion in run state. You see? Now we have our locomotion. So uh, now let's see, I have this arrow as a cylinder and I wanna uh, shoot this arrow towards our crowd. See, this is our scenario in here. Okay, let's go uh, to this DOP network and let's create merge in here because we have uh, RBD solver with a multi solver in here. It will work. Let's create RBD object and let's select our cylinders as an arrow. And let's create, uh, let's select this using the form geometry and transfer. We don't have any ground. Let's create one and let's apply some force you see we have the ground let's apply some force using this velocity in z axis okay we don't have any interaction we need to change that to animated stick you see we have something but this is not working this is considered as a one object you see we have uh, more of them so instead of rbd object we're going to create fractured object rbd fractured or uh, object sorry and now uh, let me paste that in here and let's see we don't have anything because this one it's rely on the name attribute so for that let's create rbd configure object in sub level and nothing we need to unpack that it will uh, pack the geometry let's unpack the geometry and voila we have something and yeah let's apply some force and this is an awesome arrow 
So now, how we can trigger ragdoll to this uh, arrow? So uh, let's create a crowd transition from run to ragdoll and now crowd trigger. So uh, to trigger, we're gonna select uh, RBD impact and we're gonna select R, all the pieces with this uh, sign in here and voila we have something but we have this issue i know this is uh, from pin roots i guess yeah pin root collision and let's see do we have decent animation yeah we have decent simulation here and now uh, we're gonna select the crowd so if the crowd hit the crowd it will go to the ragdoll stage you see that and this is an awesome one see and now let's see what we have in here if we uh, increase the density or the mass you see it will impact differently so now how we can stick this uh, arrow to the crowd you see let me disable that for now and you see this arrow are uh, colliding with the agent and it will fall you see so i begin to investigate okay let's begin now in here we have this sticky collision come up with this animated stick if you don't see that just set it to animated stick and we have this main collision so main collision means uh, uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> if put if we put that to zero it will collide it will stick to the object but nothing happened here and we're gonna uh, ignore the collision ignore it's not work working in here so after that i enable sticky collision min uh, min option in here and you see we have this awesome attribute and i begin to ask myself what why it's not working and yeah this is not happening you see i i enabled the sticky collision on the arrow you see we have a sticky collision in here and i uh, uncheck that nothing happened i don't know what uh, i didn't know what is the problem but after a many research i figured it out with this ragdoll internal constraint network you see they are colliding with each other uh, rbd solver it's creating a net uh, constraint network and ragdoll it's creating another constraint network so i uncheck this attach uh, uh, internal constraint object and voila it's working you see that <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's magic and it's working and by the way if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content so we have another awesome sticky collision future in crowd so we have this uh, arrow sticking to the crowd but we not, uh, we're gonna trigger that uh, to the ragdoll based on a stick uh, number so we have this awesome rbd stick collision in crowd trigger and we have this uh, count of uh, sticky object you see if i put that to one everyone will trans uh, transform to the ragdoll uh, state and you see some of them will not uh, will not uh, go to the ragdoll state and yeah you can explore that and you see that this is a handy future so we did that in crowd uh, simulation so let me show you something interesting in here let me change that to the rbd impact and we have something but we have this artifact you see we have this nasty artifact this is not going uh, uh, to solve with this iteration in rbd solver you see we have that so doing this constraint manipulation in dop network cause an error you see that and this is so serious error we don't have any result in crowd sub you see we're gonna fix that how we can how we can fix that so the problem is we need glue constraint relationship in constraint network this is so technical disguise which i don't like honestly so we're gonna create a glue constraint network and voila everything 
are working but <laughs> you see we're gonna uncheck that and we have some artifact i don't know honestly why i have that but you see if i uh, enable that we don't have any sticky and we have this artifact but uh, i i figured it out if i change that to sticky collision uh, trigger and everything will work you see this is an awesome one let's stick to that okay for now so they are sticking to the ground and let me show you the ground uh, they are sticking to the ground we're gonna uh, ignore the collision for that in a run state you see we have this handy ignore collision so we're gonna use the ground and the crowd i don't want to stick to each other and yeah you see that everything now it's working and we don't have any error you see so on my patreon we are going to see how we can stick this crowd to the object rather than object to the crowd uh, with this awesome one and we're gonna use we're gonna see the transfer group and we're gonna see how we can detach uh, or de stick this crowd uh, from the object believe me with these two parameters you can do that you see i tried a many different way but finally i figured it out and if you're interesting i will see you there have a good day goodbye